So before we start, I just want to say that I will not be focusing on Minecraft bridging in this video, simply because it's already been done multiple times. Instead, I'll be talking about this mouse in general, followed by Minecraft PvP. Also, do take note that the Comp Pro Air and Comp Pro are basically the exact same mouse aside from the weight and the wire, so anything I say about the Comp Pro Air applies to the Comp Pro as well. So the Comp Pro Air is easily an S-tier mouse in my books, and I'll be going through the reasons why I think so. First off, the build quality is absolutely solid. I've been using the mouse for about a month, and there's absolutely zero creaking, no flexing, and no weird rattling noises at all. The mouse is solid and will definitely last a really long time. Secondly is the shape. The shape is an ergonomic shape, but it's not a really aggressive one like the Maldi Wireless or the Ninjutsu Origin One X. And so people who like ambidextrous mice will most probably be able to enjoy the shape as well. The third thing are the skates and I have to say that Rocket easily has the best stock skates out of any company right now. They're pretty much already on the level of core pads and across all of my mouse pads they glide very smoothly and quickly. And branching off from this, because the glide is so good, even though the Compro Air is about 70 grams, it doesn't really feel that heavy at all compared to the Super Light. It somehow feels lighter than my Ponage even though they're about the same weight. And last but not least are gonna be the clicks. Now with the clicks, there are pros and cons to them, and there are things that I love and hate about them at the same time, and I'll be explaining them right now. Now the clicks are actually very, very light, which makes them very fun to spam click and jitter click on for PvP. However, because they're using the Rocket Titan optical switches, they're kinda dull and they don't really sound that satisfying to click on. Here's a bit of a sound test next to other mice. So yeah, they do sound pretty bad, but once again, they do feel pretty nice, so as long as you wear headphones, I think you'll be fine. Now overall, this is a very solid mouse, and it's definitely going to be competition for the Ponage Sim 2 as well as the Hadias Ace Wireless, both of which are my top recommendations at around the same price range. Now because the Rokat is going on sale for $90 right now, I would just say go for the Rokat if you want to save money. But if you're someone who doesn't mind spending a bit more cash, I would still urge you to consider all of your options before blindly going for the cheapest option. Among these three mice, I would say that it's down to preference in shape, click, feel, and weight, and so you should definitely consider all of those. But yeah, aside from that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.